Hey, it's Seik, your boy, and today I wanted to introduce you to Poke Wilds, an absolutely amazing fan game. And honestly, I also wanted to test out this VTuber avatar. Apparently, it's just some guy from Genshin Impact, but it's the best one I found on the workshop, and I wanted to have some kind of, you know, reactionary face in the videos, though not my own face. So this will do for now. Maybe eventually I'll show my real face. Maybe eventually I'll, you know, switch over to my own VTuber avatar. But for now, I'll just use this. But anyway, the game's amazing. It's completely open world. You can go, technically you can go everywhere. It's procedurally generated, so Sometimes you might walk into dead ends, but eventually as you unlock more Pokemon with more abilities, like my Flygon can dig and fly, Absol, Card Ride and Attack, I don't even know what Attack does, Riolo, Smash and Build, Flaffy has power and it's, well, it lights up the area around it when you take it out. Let me quickly take it out to show, well, okay. wait. I just have to go into here and yeah, as you can see the light of it follows me around and also as you can see you just can take biomes and put them somewhere else. The way it works is a bit annoying to be honest, but I hope, you know, it's, it's a fan game, I hope eventually it'll go, it'll become better. But I'll clean out this whole forest, build my little base, and all of these Pokemon, obviously. First off, something I didn't realize until far, far later. The storage chest works basically as your PC, where you can store Pokemon. And this is the third time I record, so hopefully I don't miss anything. This game, even though it's in style of Gen 2, has Pokemon of every generation obviously not all there i don't even know if they're trying to go for all the general well all the pokemon in this game it's probably quite a lot of work because especially for the new ones you have to make a i don't even know is this two or is this eight maybe 16 bit yeah make animations and everything you need for them obviously the cry is easily take uh, can easily be taken over but yeah as you go you unlock more of the island you unlock more abilities you can just well early on you'll start probably start with a matchup which is for the better matchup allows you to fighting types allow you to build and one of the first things you probably get is cut Initially, you'll just be able to cut down small trees, which often give you apricorns. But eventually, you'll be able to cut down big trees. And can also cut down the grass. And obviously, trees give you logs. Grass gives you grass. And you need both to build basically any wooden building. It's pretty simple. And just from there, I just... Like I already showed, there's the whole map and multiple secrets in it. So far I've only found this big building in the middle, which I believe is Mewtube's building. Uh, yeah, Mewtube's building. Then in the middle of where it's currently showing is another building, which I believe is the Fossil Restorator. And somewhere up here is a little ruin dungeon where you can find and fight Volcarona. But I recommend everyone to play this game for yourself. Support the creator. Support. I, I don't. I actually don't know if he even has support. It's a bit difficult to download the game. You have to go into the Discord and then click on their download because 
There is a download you can find, well, a code library you can find on the internet through Google. I downloaded it first, and I have no idea what it was about, but it didn't work. It didn't even have an exe to actually execute. But yeah, it just I just wanted to tell people about this incredible game. It's uh, it's beautiful. And a small tip that I just recently realized. Do you see how those Pokemon, even if they're standing still, are, you know, having this small idle animation? All of them. Ooh. Especially Sableye. If you then talk to them, it means they're holding something, so you can take it. And a small, small tip. Always get Sableye. Get a pen full sailor. The reason Matt... Oh god. Matchock. Machoke? Machamp? Oh god. What's your name? Machop. Yes. It's in here is because I want to breed more Sableye, but it hasn't worked so far. Sableye are capable of every now and then having evolutionary stones, which you otherwise would have to dig out from specific earth points, but yeah, that, that ah, that's it. This game's absolutely beautiful. Play it, please support a creator, I really, I... <laughs> ah, that's the reason why I usually don't do unscripted stuff. This is all unscripted and I'm just rambling. I don't, I'm constantly forgetting what I've said before, but... Thanks for watching, Seek out. Hope to see you in the next one.